centripetal force is a force that causes an object to move away from a straight line path. And the result is a centrifugal force which appears to go outward from an object moving in a curve or an object that is spinning. Now everybody has their own favorite examples and this is one of mine. Of course, the simple one is to take water and put it in a bucket and you spin it over your head and the water stays in the bucket and that's perfectly fine but I like this one a little bit better. In this case, we're going to start with a tray. Uh, it's about 8 by 12, it's fairly thin, it's supported by four strings, there's a nice little handle that makes it easy to hold, and onto this tray, we're going to put a cup of water. Now the first thing we can do is simply let this thing swing back and forth. We're alive. Okay. After our discussion of the trace just rocking back and forth and why the water doesn't come out, then we try the next step, which would actually be to take this and swing it all the way around in a complete circle. You getting the whole thing in? Mm hmm. The water stays in the jar. The jar stays on the tray because as you're swinging it around, it's constantly being pushed into a new direction. Uh, it's kind of like if you're driving in a car and the car is going around a path. Your body wants to go straight, so the car actually forces your body into that curved path. Well, this is doing the same thing. Now, it's interesting to watch people do this demonstration with the bucket and with this tray. Everybody goes up around their head, and that's fine. But what about if we go on the horizontal? Can I actually get this to spin horizontal and still keep the water in the glass? Well, let's try it. This one's fairly simple to make, but if you want one that's even easier, we can take a simple piece of masonite and attach a couple pieces of string onto it and just hold onto the string, and this one will work perfectly well also. So there you have it. I hope you found this interesting, and stay tuned because I have other examples of centrifugal force that I'd like to show you also. Okay, thank you.